Hello traders, okay, for, so for this video it requires some mental agility and some, um, I would say, medium level Excel skills and they will pay off in dividends if you follow this process. I'm going to give you an outline or a structure on how to build a global overview uh, of, of, of the world, of course, uh, in terms of macro data which can enable you to monitor all FX, equities, uh, bonds, and commodity trading opportunities. So for those of you who've built out spreadsheets like this for each country, fantastic, well done, you deserve a pat on the back, well done. However, you quickly realize that you need some charting ability uh, to be able to see the movements in charts and you'd also want to consolidate the data into um, sheets or slides where you can have a snapshot of the world. How do you go about doing that? This is what this video is going to be about and you will see how powerful this can really be. So what I'm going to show you now is a, another spreadsheet that I've created called Global Overview Complete. So what you're looking at here is for 33 countries, which represents 87.5% of global GDP. All the, all the PMIs, these, where it's manufacturing of services, sentiment, housing, uh, interest rates, 10-year bonds, uh, sentiment, everything you can imagine, all the way going to some much more macro and forex type indicators that are, that are relevant for ma uh, macro trades, such as the bond trades and the forex trades for um, each country. And so all you need to know from this is that this is self-referencing data points in the spreadsheet. At the bottom, you can see tabs for all different sorts of countries. And if I scroll right to the end, you can start to see that we've got now um, sector ETFs or market ETFs and uh, pivot tables and uh, all sorts of, and finally, the TR data. So TR data will show you all the data that I'm getting from Thomson Reuters or Metastock Icon. Data references the tables, and then these are all the pivot tables. If you don't know what pivot tables are, they just uh, just Google it. You'll find the information very very quickly, and then you create the pivot tables and to be able to display such things as. And I'll just show you one for now, uh, the United States. So here you have your slices, and you have every single indicator displayed in chart form. Um, you have uh, so if I scroll across, now you have more indicators, commodity dependencies, etc., etc. Quarterly GDP with the currencies, the 210 yield curves, uh, forex reserves, every single thing, COP reports that you can imagine. Um, yeah, PPI, um, CAB analysis, everything. Um, and also the more annual indicators versus the DXY, uh, the dollar index. So we're looking at gross domestic um, uh, debt, um, U.S. Uh, annual GDP, gross gross government revenues, uh, U.S. expenditure, primary balance, every single type of indicator you can imagine that is relevant for trading equities, forex, bonds, yields, etc. And you can do them for all countries, all in one spreadsheet. And then using cell referencing, you can reference them into a nice tidy package here, which you can look at, say, once a week to see what's happening in the world, to spot the changes and with the trading opportunities that you would want. So how do you go about doing this? So building on the last uh, video that I showed you, it's uh, a very simple process, but time consuming. So your first tab would be a data tab or your icon API. So you would have all your data displaying just like you would have here, but not with all the color formats and everything. You would just have the US and all this data displaying there. So that would be your first tab. Then you would want to create a DGET tab. Why, what, was, what does DGET mean? DGET is an Excel formula that allows you to select data in a correct order. Because you have Forex, which is a six day week, and equities, which is a five day week, and cryptos, which is a seven day week, if you want to trade that. Um, and all the other data points come out on a slightly different scale. So you have quarterly data, monthly data, annual data. You want them all on one time series. So then when you're coming to slice and dice the data, all the data matches up correctly. So you have all your data APIs coming in there. That's not a problem because you've built out your macro sheets for each country. So that shouldn't take too long. Then the DGET formula will take you a bit of time just to understand what DGET is. Once you've inserted that, you create a tab for that. Then you would convert that data into an Excel table, which is not a long process, very simple process. And then from that, you would create pivot tables, 
Google around, there's many, many, many resources online and YouTube tutorials that will show you far better than I could ever show you. Um, once you've created your pivot tables, then you can create your charts to display commodities versus, say, the COT reports. Um, same for the country ETFs and the sector ETFs and, and how to display them into basic simple charts. Save, save them as templates, save a chart template, display them very quickly. It's not a problem. And then tabs 8 to tab N would then be your this blown up sheet here so you you would have a slicer here so you could pick between different times and different dates all your leading and coincident data being displayed here some commodity data and your lagging data just like i showed with the united states and then your your final your final tab as it were would be a overview which is cell referencing the most recent data uh, whether that's um, your PMI is your sentiment and some sort of year, year over year measure to be able to see what the trend change is in the final in the final sheet. So what does that and then another final tab just to put notes and themes and checklists so make sure you're trading correctly any anything that you've known uh, about yourself that you need to be aware of or anything that any themes and observations you've made about the markets so what does tab 9 look like tab 9 looks like this which is the overview it's literally just cell referencing so you can see look i'm referencing just a single cell there and I'm referencing single cells there all across the board, the most recent data. And then I've just highlighted in the color coding and done a simple bar chart um, formula there, which is very, very simple things to do. Um, so, oh dear. So then, okay. Um, this just looks like Excel is not responding right now. Oh, there we go. Uh, bear with me, please. So that's what tab nine looks like. And tab eight to N would then look like what I've shown you before in the United States. So all the different indicators, so we've got housing, we've got sentiment, we've got um, uh, different types of sentiment. We've got the 10 year yield, we've got the interest rates and the, uh, we've got uh, the ISM, uh, new orders, we've got um, what is it, the leading indicator index. We've got the NMI flash PMIs, which are also available on ICON. And then if we move it across commodity dependencies, which you can find online through different resources, the different uh, M2 and M3 analysis, unemployment and you know, PPIs and whatnot. And then you can have like your different uh, more quarterly indicators for say the Forex type stuff all displaying here. And then you've got your more annual annual data points, which are relevant also for the Forex so kind of slower um, moving markets. Well, not slow moving markets more um, which take a, a bit of time before the markets ten, tends to pay attention to um, so this is like the more annual measurements of governments so government um, uh, balance sheets and things like that so once you've got that all displaying and everything uh, you can you you can have a serious pat on the back because you've done some serious amount of work it does take a, a number of weekends if you're just doing on weekends but if you can book out a couple of months in your life um, you'd be able to get it done within at least a month or so um, work as part of a team if you've got a team to do this it will pay you dividends because you'll be able to um, monitor all macro trades so you'll never be caught off guard as long as you're checking this sheet once a week you'll be able to trade equities forex uh, commodities um, and bonds with ease now because you'll be able to monitor every single index every single uh, country around the world and what's moving and shaking if certain countries are not doing well that has implications on commodities and forex markets and vice versa so hopefully this video has made sense if it hasn't please do drop me a message in the comment section i'll go over it in more detail then it does take a bit of your uh, your mind to get around but once 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 you understand what's going on it becomes a lot lot easier uh, to manage the markets so as always please do like share subscribe and uh, there is also a referral link in the description below this will help um with the referral link, you'll be able to gain access to Metastock for a free month for one month price, uh, which is 99 US dollars. And then after that, it's 99 US dollars per month. And you'll be able to monitor every single market in the world um, as long as you know how to use Excel, which can 
be easily found um, online. The resources are easily found online. So just to sum up then, the things you would need to Google search would be the DGET formula, um, how to create an Excel table, which is not very, very easy, how to do pivot tables, which is a, a bit of work, but not a lot of work, and then just some simple cell referencing. That's it. And you'll be able to monitor all commodities, all indicators for each country, bonds, and um, f uh, so bonds moves, forex moves, equity moves, and commodity moves will be a cinch for you. So please do use the, the link below in the description. User manuals are also in the description. And um, please do try an icon. Once you go with icon, it's uh, no looking back. You'll be able to, uh, you'll ever wonder, you'll wonder how you ever managed to trade without icon. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video if there is one.